Well, hello, friends. It's Pearl of Wisdom here, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom B Pal Picks Edition. I got. I'm going to do the picks for the next two days here, uh, June 24th and June 25th, as you can see in the background. Vegas and Montreal will be my first pick. Vegas is trying to get themselves out of prison. <laughs> I, yeah. That's the picture I thought. That looks like kind of look like they got they get they got to get themselves out of the situation they're in. They're down three two, going into Montreal. It's going to be all a flutter. They've had uh, a day. It's a holiday there. It's going to be crazy, and they got to win a game in that environment. So very difficult one. We'll talk about that. I'll give you the pick for that. Also, the game seven. Uh, the Islanders in the Tampa Bay game as well. I'd also would like to just talk about, uh, I have a Patreon, and I'm changing it up now. I'm going to start having a little more fun with my picks over there. So if you like to have fun and gamble a little bit, and that's the way it should be, right? If we're putting down money that we can't afford to lose, it's not fun. you got to have fun. Uh, I So... I mean, I was a. Uh, I think this year I got a little too concerned about getting my picks right. In which case, I didn't do as well. And you know what? I even kind of subconsciously put my stats up incorrect when I did videos. I found myself kind of, you know, looking back on it. Maybe I cheated a little bit in my the truth in my uh, like saying what if I was accurate or not. I mean, if you're if I. If, I started doing something like that. It means I'm taking this way too seriously. Sports is fun. Gambling's supposed to be fun. If you like to go over and have some fun, I'm going to change it all over to fun over my Patreon right now. I'll give you a month for free. Go check it out. See how you like it. We're going to be doing some whole new stuff over there. And uh, it's going to be fun from now on. Okay, let's get to uh, uh, to our pick, shall we? All right, Montreal, Vegas. Uh, it's going to be a barn burner. Apparently, Laner is going to be in. Uh, right now, here I got the total. It's going to be Laner. Laner had a really good outing the last time he played. Uh, Laner plays better the more he plays, and he uh, the one game that he did poorly, he hadn't played in a really long time. Now it's been like a couple days, and he's back at her again. I do think Laner will have a good game tonight. Price will have a good game every night. Is he? You know, I, I'm not going to bet that Price is going to have a bad game. So I'm going to go the under here at uh, under five. Should be a tight game. Now, what everybody wants to know is who's going to win. Well, let me tell you first off, I'm a Vegas fan. I'm getting to be a bigger and bigger Vegas fan all the time. But I'm really concerned about Stone and his attitude in this last game, and 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 Pacioretty as well. They look like everything is not going their way. They look very frustrated, and uh, so now this may sound weird, but bringing Laner in, changing the goaltender, can quite often refocus players. Like, whoa, wait, get out of here, wake up, guys. We got a game to play here. We're awesome. Remember, we're the same team that beat the Colorado Avalanche, right? We're the same team that beat the Colorado Avalanche fairly convincingly. And we, 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 we broke, we had a tough one against Minnesota and we got through. Why can't we get through here? Let's get our attitude back in check. Remember how good we are and go out there and play like how good we are. So it could happen. Montreal, though. In their own barn. The energy on this team is absolutely insane. Corey Perry, I believe now, may have to be in the Hall of Fame. He is just that good of a leader. And Weber. And I'll tell you, I've had to put myself in the house of spanking there. Perlo's house of spanking. Go check it out. It's amazing there. I said it. Uh, Several times this year for calling out. Montreal and you know undervaluing them and getting my caught with my pants down 
spanking thanks down. Haha. <laughs> uh, so Ducharme has done fantastic. I, uh, he made some decisions that I was like, what? But turns out they were mad geniuses. And same as Bergevin as well. There I said it. I think Montreal is going to win this game tonight. And I really don't like it. But I do think they're going to win. So I'm taking Montreal on the money line. Not to mention, at the very least, it's probably a coin flip. So I would say uh, take the take the home team with the, with plus money. Right? Yeah. So Montreal ML under five. Islanders versus Tampa Bay. While wow, I'm I'm floored by what the Islanders did in game six, coming back from two nothing. Like this team just never gives up ever and surprises over and over and over again. Again, I think this is kind of a coin flip in Game 7. It's going to be in Tampa's barn, but it's Tampa's barn is not as uh, intimidating as Montreal's. I, It's a coin flip. Now, I'd say, okay, take the dog on a coin flip, but I, I think Tampa Bay's got a crap load of weapons and can come back and win this game. But I do think that the Islanders are going to keep it close. So my, my thinking, by the way, Vegas-Montreal consider the tie. Consider overtime here. Islanders, Tampa Bay. I'm going to say the Islanders on the puck line at 157. And uh, I, I'm going to I'm going to lean the over. If if Tampa Bay wins, it'll probably be an over. Um, if the Islanders are down 2-1 going into the third, they're probably going to open it up. And it could probably get over five. The over is, the total is five, by the way. And the spread, if you get to, yeah, 156. It's not bad. I'm not as big on the line as I am on the over. I think the over is probably the better play. You know what? I'm actually not big on this game at all. Because it could be very, very tight as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to change that under. That's it. Under five. <laughs> Islanders plus one and a half. Put some bets out there. Have some fun. Enjoy the games. Go over to my Patreon. We can have fun together. I might do some lives over there with you guys. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to change it all up. I'll be doing some posts where we just have fun talking about the game. Maybe even during the game. I'll start posting stuff. So have a great day, everybody. Okay. Bye.